How you doing guys and welcome back, welcome back here to Bogachita, Miami's best island. And you know what? If you just started watching the channel right now, make sure you check out the video from the day before. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to like the video, subscribe and turn on all notifications like that. You won't miss another one and i love waking up to this view i mean who wouldn't look at this got beautiful boats and a beautiful harbor and a beautiful day but i mean it's still windy but still it makes it a little bit more comfortable because it's pretty hot and the mosquitoes are not bothering you but wait a minute i don't even know what time it is by the look of things i think it's past 12 o'clock because i just heard my stomach speak to me and it said i need food It's a pretty, uh, pretty windy morning here at uh, Bogachita, but still, it doesn't affect the view and the feeling of being here at Paradise Island. So uh, we're gonna spend a day here uh, because we're gonna celebrate uh, uh, Alain's uh, birthday. So that's pretty cool. You know what it is to come to uh, to an island and celebrate your birthday? Can't get better than that. And also, to answer a, lot, a few people's questions about boating, well, what does it take me to go out? Well, for example, uh, before I headed out, I had to put $150 of fuel, uh, buy food, about $100 worth, uh, pay for the ramp, it was $17. Um, so just right, just from the beginning, you're spending about, uh, I guess about $300, uh, you know, for the day. Per, well, not per day, because you know what, we're, we, stay, we stay two days. So I guess you can say $150 per day, more or less. I mean, it's not bad, you know, it's doable. The feeling that you get from being here, it's worth a million dollars. So that's what that's what it's worth to me. So we'll be here the rest of the day. And you guys will be here the rest of the day. Enjoying Bogachita work. Cafe por la mañana. The nectar de los dioses, whatever it's called. Nectar negro de los dioses. Yeah. Salud, que belleza sobra. And while Loquita and I get ready to cook up some breakfast, well, she is, you know, she's the cooker and I'm the recorder. The kids are out and about with their friends and their dinghy. And like you see, Fresco's in one group and Joel is in another group. So, what time is it? No, no sausage time. And all right, if you see, <laughs> yeah, you know why it's arroz con huevo, eggs and rice? Because the problem is, it's about 12:30. We woke up <coughs> kind of late. So we're gonna mix lunch and breakfast at the same time. So the rice is for the lunch, and the eggs is for the breakfast. And then we got Chef Sambo Life, Big Mama in La Casa, rocking that cool gear, matching that blue hat and a blue shirt. Looking, 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 looking sharp. That ocean blue. Mm, thank you, thank you, Miss Chef Mama. Mmm, look at this. So this is what you do when you wake up late. This is what you do when you wake up late. You gotta mix it up breakfast with uh, with lunch. It's okay with me though, cause you know, as long as it's food, I'm okay. No matter the time of the day. And this is why I call a million dollar breakfast. But this time, I don't know if it's breakfast or lunch, but it doesn't matter. All that it counts is that I'm eating food and with a million dollar view. Well, at least to me, it feels that way. And while I was enjoying my breakfast, I guess, the smell got around to Gabby's friends because they decided to stop by and have some breakfast of their own. Or I guess they were curious themselves because they don't know if it was breakfast or lunch. But whatever it was, they wanted to get a taste of it. And that is a custom that's part of the boating community. You're always willing to share your food with your fellow boaters and friends. Enjoy 
enjoy the coffee with a view. What is that, a million dollar coffee? I'm in heaven right now. Yeah, it's windy, but it feels good. The day is like very hot. Yeah, right? it's, yeah, it's hot, Thank but... Thank God it's a little windy because if not, we couldn't be able to be here. Yeah, yeah. And the funny thing, but the water is still cold. How you figure that? I don't know. It's already almost May. Yeah, the weather is a little crazy. Because it's hot, the water's cold, and it's super windy. And you know what he just told me? What? What? He's like, okay, come on, let me record you. You know, at least one time that you're not working. Because every time I record you, you're always That's true, working. she's always like, working. That's what I do. She's always working, so this is the first time she actually relaxes on video. If it's not painting, it's cooking. If it's not cooking, it's washing clothes. <laughs> but we're chilling today. Today, it don't matter. We got up at like around 12, I think. It doesn't matter. Because when you're out here, time doesn't matter. Well, that relaxing moment didn't last very long because she decided to do some island exploring or scavenging, whatever you want to call it. So we set off and here we go, looking for some driftwood and whatever you can find us in the island that's interesting. All right, so we're doing some island exploration. Guess what she's gonna do? She's gonna go steal, borrow, I mean, take out, no, souvenirs of the island, some old wood. All right, so check this out. Most women go shopping at the store. Pita goes shopping at the islands. We're looking for some, uh, what do you call it? Some uh, driftwood. And whatever we can find out here. There he goes. That's one right there. Look. That's a nice driftwood there. Yes. This is actually more. It's kind of long, but. No, because you're going to cut it for me. I'm going to cut it for you. Yeah. Oh, look at this one. I want something with carrots. Look, look at this one. Yeah. Para la parte de abajo de la mesa. Mira, right here. You cut this? Right here, look. Okay, so while she does her scavenging hunt, I'm gonna go ahead and sneak away. I don't know if you guys can hear the, the sound on the camera, but I love the sound of the waves. Well, it's really windy, so you might just hear the sound, of, the sound of the wind. But look at this, wow, it's super low tide, my goodness. Wow, look at all this. This is uh, the more secluded side of uh, Bocachita. Nobody really goes back here because I guess it's so rocky. Ouch. Yeah, and these are sharp rocks. Let me see. Oh, cool. I just saw a little fish. that got stuck I guess in the low tide and they're all right there that's really cool I don't know if you can see it they're all there running around and there's some right there too this is really neat love it out here I mean I could be out here the whole day enjoying the beautiful and then start walking back and see what else she found because while I enjoy the the ocean she's enjoying picking up all the driftwood look at her look at her she's shopping she's shopping at the mall found anything interesting what you found turn this wood up girl yeah, but I think that one's rotten. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's why it's so brownish and so soft. No, no, it's still fall apart. 
That one's not that good. She looking like an island native trying to make a hut out of sticks. All we need is to find some mud and some big leaves and she can live here. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, she's one of those island natives. She was raised on the island. Well, yep, like you know, Greta already, she's taking advantage of all the islands have to offer. And you know what else, too, she likes taking advantage of? If you've seen my videos before, you know, every time you come here, she wants to take some pictures. I mean, why not? This place is beautiful. And right now, we have the perfect sunlight. So, we're gonna take advantage. And I just noticed we both have Sandbar Life matching merch. That if you guys like it, you guys could buy it at www.frescochannel.com. And while we're here enjoying taking beautiful pictures at Bocachita, there's other people coming in and looking for a spot to park. But those that are already here, they're taking full advantage of what the island has to offer. Like fishing, camping, boating, snorkeling, or just sunbathing out on the boat. But it doesn't matter because here, whatever you do, you're gonna enjoy it. Because as long as you're with friends and family, you're always gonna have a good time. Just in case if you forgot, yeah, we came here to celebrate a birthday party. So we're going to head over to the camp and see what everybody's up to. Because I smell food and I see they started to decorate. Otra vez, cocinero, otra vez. Aquí. Haciendo salchicha, era bueno. Salchicha y costilla y pollito. Que bueno. Eh, aquí. <laughs> Compartiendo con fresco aquí, sabroso aquí. Así, con el cuantamilla sin frontera y fresco chano aquí. Aquí, aquí estamos aquí. While we hang out here in the camp, the special guest has arrived. What everyone been waiting for, he's here. And everyone's super excited to see him. And if you're wondering who it is or what it is, you'll soon find out. But one thing I'm sure gonna tell you, he's a very popular guest at a Latin party. And here it comes, the special guest to the party. Who do you thought I was talking about? And he came all dressed up and ready to party. And he's gonna be the center of attraction. So how cool is that? He came with a little hat and a tobacco. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I've been to a lot of parties where the hogs are involved, but I never seen one like this one. And he was so cool looking that a few people wanted to take a picture with him. And you know what? I was so busy videotaping that I forgot to take a picture myself. And talking about cool looking, let's take a look at the 
cake table because the cake itself and the decorations are pretty cool. What do you guys think? And to be honest, I don't know who looks better, the special guest or the cake. What do you guys think? I think they both look pretty cool and I guess they're finishing up the final touches to the cake tape. I got you. <laughs> yep, she's a fan of the channel and now I caught her so she can see herself on TV. And now here comes the challenging part, getting people together to take pictures. And remember, it's even harder because we're celebrating three different birthdays and sometimes one is hard enough. And the celebrating birthdays today are Alain, Emily, and Jose. what's going on here I'm gonna explain it okay Alain is the guy with a black shirt and Jose is the guy with a blue shirt and Emily is the center girl and all three of them is their birthday but they're trying to get the two guys to kiss Emily on the cheek and take a picture but like you see it's not happening like you saw that didn't work so now we're gonna try to sing happy birthday to all three of them And between the pictures and the singing, they forgot to light out the cameras. But it's okay, they wish their wish and hopefully it comes true. But now it's time for the good part. Yup, you know what I like, food. And there's plenty of it here. And finally, we get to meet and taste the special guests of the party. Finally, I get to taste and meet the special guests of the party, and it tastes pretty good. Now I really feel like in paradise. Good people, good food, having a good time at a beautiful place. And to top it off, we're in an island. And that is amazing because you know me, I love being on the water. And as you can see, everyone's having a good time and enjoying themselves, especially enjoying the food because it tastes really good. And some of us are having more fun than others. Like Danny here, he's dancing to the song. Too bad I can't play the actual song on the video. Oh, there was a lot of people that guessed the right answer to the previous video, what song everyone was dancing to. Pretty good. And while we were here having a good time, we had another special guest come by through the harbor in their beautiful boat, the Miami Day Fire Rescue. And I think I caught the kids planning something because you know how it is when a whole bunch of kids get together, they could get creative. I just hope it's something good, not bad. But we'll see because I'm gonna follow them with the camera, see what they're going to do. Well, this is gonna be interesting because they took off on the dinghy. Now that's gonna be kind of hard to follow them, but I'm still gonna try to keep an eye on them. And I found them. They're actually having fun on the floatable mat. Now the question is, where did they leave all the dinghies? And as you can see, this place is amazing because it could accommodate everyone from the little ones to the older ones. And you know how they say, time flies when you're having fun. And we're having so much fun today here enjoying this place with the water, the boats, and we got to celebrate three birthdays. I mean, that's why I call this place paradise because anything is possible. Like right now, we're gonna witness a beautiful, beautiful sunset over Boca Chita and Biscayne Bay. 
and I'm glad I could bring this to you guys via YouTube. Because places like this, you can talk about it, but some people won't believe you, but now you can show them proof through Fresco Channel. So remember guys to share the video with your friends and if you like it make sure to put the thumbs up and if you're first time watching the channel subscribe and turn on all notifications like that you won't miss another amazing video. And like I always say welcome back but right now it's time to say goodbye because all good stories come to an end. And ours is about to finish because we're gonna start heading back to the boat ramp because tomorrow we have other plans and even though the kids didn't want to leave I mean who would this place is amazing and it makes it even better when you have a whole bunch of great people spending time together making memories that will last a lifetime